Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate to you a really new Laravel feature which was praised a few months ago called Laravel Precognition. And it's an interesting feature to review on this channel because it's not yet officially documented. So there was a huge hype about Precognition in September and this is a pull request by Tim McDonald and I will link that in the description below and then Taylor tweeted about it and demonstrated it during Laracon talk in September and also it was officially released in Laravel 9.33 or 34, it doesn't matter that much now, but it was basically in September or October. Now it's November, mid-November at the time of shooting this video and Precognition is not in the docs yet. So if you search for Precognition, nothing to be found because there is a pull request in the Laravel docs by Tim McDonald himself with a lot of details about how that works. If we take a look at files changed, it's a huge page with a lot of subsections because there's quite a lot to understand to use precognition, but it's not merged into official docs yet. So here on this channel, in this video, I will demonstrate it to you the working version, although it's not in the docs yet. Maybe by the time this video airs, they will release it in the docs after proofreading all this pull request. But what is precognition? In this short video, I will not demonstrate all of it, Precognition is kind of a mechanism to allow you to do many different things. But the most practical example is to do live validation on the forms before submitting the form. It's quite a typical behavior with Livewire, for example. But Precognition is for those who use Vue.js or vanilla JavaScript or Inertia, mostly. So as you can see here, even on the screen, there's npm install for specific view package, for example. Enough talking, let me demonstrate. So I asked my colleague Narius to create a demo project and I will show you the code in a minute. So Laravel Breeze view inertia version, typical registration form. I use fake filler Chrome extension and I will copy the email and I will register. Then I log out, I register again and try to register with the same email I paste. I click tab and the email has already been taken. I haven't submitted the form yet, but it already validates from the database that the email already exists. And it does that with the same validation rules in Laravel that you would use for the actual registration backend submit. Let's take a look how it works. Generally, I do advise you to read two things, the precognition pull request, which is a huge article in itself about why you should use it, who would use it, typical use cases like validation or other use cases. So this is a huge thing to read. And of course, then the documentation pull request. I will link both in the description below. But in our case, I will show you the commit of our demo project specifically related to introducing precognition. So this is a registered user controller of Laravel Breeze. So we change the store method to have. Instead of typical request, we have registered user request, form request class. So instead of doing request validate in line, we do that in the form request. And then we add this. We get the payload with precognitive helper from the validated. This is the syntax. And then the payload becomes the result of validated after the form request. Now the form request is a typical form request except for this line, which means if the request is precognitive, and I'll show you that in a minute, what it means, then we validate only uniqueness of the email. Otherwise, if it's a typical form submit, then we validate more things. Then in the package JSON, we need to install Laravel Precognition View, and then in the register view, we use the helper from that library, use precognitive form. So instead of just use form, the inertia thing, we use precognitive form. Then we change form post to form submit. And on the text input of email, specifically on one field, we add this on change, we validate the form. This is what would cause the precognitive request to the server, would validate, would return with validation errors, which would be filled in the form. And then in the routes, we need to add a few things, add middleware, specific middleware of handle precognitive requests, which we add on the register. So this is how it works on a simple live validation example. But again, precognition is a much bigger feature. It's more like a mini framework in itself or kind of a concept to validate the data or to use some live updates on the page in a new way, mostly for those who use view and inertia. Personally, I'm quite a big fan of Livewire. 
which does many similar things by default, for example, generating slugs from title automatically. So if you want such examples with Livewire, I suggest that you would use my Livewire kit, which is 41 Livewire components at livewirekit.com. I'm waiting for Livewire 3 to appear, and then my plan is to update those to Livewire 3, maybe also update my courses about Livewire. So expect some news about Livewire in 2023. But if you need to work with Vue, Inertia, or plain JavaScript, and you want some live updates on your pages, I suggest you take a look at Precognition. What do you think about this new feature? Tell in the comments below, and see you guys in other videos.